Hi everyone, Nicholas Seidloff here from IBM and OpenNTF. Philippe Rion and the XPages team have contributed a new project to OpenNTF called JDBC Access to IBM Lotus Domino Data. It's essentially a JDBC driver that opens up new capabilities. For example, it allows external applications to connect to Domino Data. What you see here in the screenshot is a report generated by BERT and BERT um, accesses Domino via JDBC. In addition to um, allow external applications to connect to Domino, there's also advantages for XPages developers because XPages developers can now use SQL to query Domino data. And that allows to do things like joins, joins between multiple views, even coming from different databases and servers. You can aggregate data from different databases. Um, you can do unions and all of these kinds of things. Now here's how Domino um, SQL, uh, the JDBC driver, works in a nutshell. Um, it gives you read-only access to the data by projecting the content of views as relational tables. In other words, um, it does not provide you write or, um, with write access, um, but only read-only at this point. It exposes the Domino data through a JDBC interface and Technically, it's based on top of an award-winning SQL engine, um, an open source project called SQLite. And that engine is used by many projects and um, it comes with a well-known SQL grammar. There are two modes to run um, this driver. One is um, locally or um, within the HTTP process. And that is required um, if you, as an XPages developer, want to um, leverage these new query capabilities. And the other mode is to run it within the dots process. And that is necessary when you want to access it remotely. Um, and it comes with the, the remote server has been implement, uh, implemented using RMI. And dots is another open NTF project called the OSGI Tasklet Service. So in, in summary, what you need to, to use this new JDBC driver is Domino 853, the latest extension library from OpenNTF, and one of the most recent versions of the OSGI Tasklet service. The project comes with a sample database that shows some of this functionality in action. So here I can choose between one of my connections that I have defined previously and then the available um, tables. And this looks like a notes view and it is data from a notes database, but it is, it is actually read via JDBC. And um, when we take a quick look here in designer, um, it's using the JDBC query data source um, that was already available on um, OpenATF previously. Um, going back to the sample application, a couple of other things, um, there's also an option to see the metadata of um, a table <coughs> that displays here the different columns. And um, then there are two more pages which show the, the new functionality that is now available even for XPages developers. Um, so let me um, just create one SQL query here and there's a couple of predefined ones. Now the last ones here are um, especially interesting, uh, interesting um, because um, things like unions are done and joints. So let me just pick one of these now, which does a join and execute it. And you can see that this data here is not one view, but comes from two different tables. Um, so that's pretty nice. And then the other thing is um, performance wise, there are advantages. Uh, let me pick this one here, all names. It's a view with uh, 5,000 notes documents. And um, the the, the interesting thing is that when you use JDBC here, it's actually faster than um, using the Java um, classes, the view navigator and the entry collection. Um, and that is because this JDBC driver is actually using the nodes C APIs. So what you can see here is the, um, the view navigator is faster than the view entry collection, um, but it's still four times um, slower than the SQL um, access. As I said earlier, you can also use the JDBC driver to connect from um, external applications to Domino. Um, here's one example. It's a tool called DB Visualizer. 
and essentially you always have to do two things. Um, first of all you need to define the um, or register the driver which is what I've done here. Basically you only have to point to um, the, the driver's jar file and then the second thing is to define the JDBC URL pointing to your database and connection and this is the um, URL DOM SQL and then my IP address and my NSF name. Um, so once I've done that I can connect and now I should um, see all the different tables here and again this is now data from um, the notes database and here are all the documents. Um, another example is BERT which is um, based on Eclipse and it's a reporting tool and it comes with a couple of, uh, couple of sample reports that work against uh, a local derby database um, by default and I've taken this report now and changed it to work against the um, uh, Domino NSF and again I had to register the, uh, the driver first and then I had to define also the, the database URL which is the same one as used previously. I can test the connection and I can run it and in this case I choose to run it um, the, to show the uh, report in a web um, browser and here it is. This is um, a report uh, with data, data from the notes database. In order to use this new functionality you need a couple of things. In addition to the extension library from OpenNTF and the 853 version of Domino, you also need another OpenNTF project called OSGI Tasklet Service, which is essentially a way to extend the Domino um, server via the OSGI programming model. Now, um, once you have downloaded that, you need to copy a couple of files like the whole OSGI runtime in a certain subdirectory and you need to copy in another directory the um, dots files as well as um, the, the files of the JDBC driver and you need to copy a couple of plugins from the HTTP um, um, OSGI directory. Um, and also in order to run dots you need to um, copy one ex executable and two DLLs in your domino directory. Uh, once you have done that you can um, start um, um, the JDBC driver um, by loading dots and this is what you get. Um, here it tells you that the JDBC driver has been started and then it's ready to be used. Now as a developer um, there's a couple of things you need to know. First of all the format of the JDBC URL uh, which you can read here in the documentation and also um, there is another file um, where you define which um, views can be accessed for, um, from external applications which is kind of similar to how it's done in the um, Domino access services where you define um, a list of views etc. And here's how it looks like in Designer. Um, so there's um, essentially two types of files. This first file .jdbc is where you define your connections um, as you could do that previously by um, when you wanted to access another relational database and these DOM SQL files um, are the files where you define um, what views, what columns etc. can be accessed by external applications. That's everything I had for today. Um, I hope you enjoy it and again please provide us feedback. Thanks a lot.